Good morning, Susie Cobden. So today's day five of our happiness adventure. Um, I hope you're all still hanging in there and doing the best you can, but achieving some, some success. The main thing is for the times that you're not feeling successful, that you're feeling other than happy, then don't judge yourself for it. That's perfectly okay. That's giving you the contrast to see that you've got a space between you and the happiness. It's allowing you to come into mastery of your awareness. Um, there's lots of reasons for contrast, but every time there's contrast, there's asking. The main thing is not to get caught in the contrast. You know, when we are trying to get somewhere and we start judging ourselves, we're actually putting focus on where we don't want to be. So if you're not feeling happy, just laugh about it and say, there you go, I just got some more contrast. Whenever we feel stuck, it's because we're focusing on the opposite of what we want. And we can't get what we want while we're focusing on the opposite of it. So it's about making what we want more powerful than what we don't want. And I know that's difficult when what we don't want's in our face. But the thing is, if you can come to peace with where you are now, with the end of the, the solution, the problem that you're facing, if you can make it not a big deal and focus away from it, then you open up the flow for its opposite, for what you do want to actually come in. So whatever we push against the problem, we're creating more problem. So we've got to come to peace with the problem and let it go. You know, once it's not a big hairy deal, then it's not active in our vibration and it's not holding us back. So that's really an important step. Um, the only thing that's preventing us from what we want is our thoughts, always. Because our feelings come from our thoughts. Because our thoughts change our feelings. And we only, we're only in alignment where we're in those better feeling places. Then we have to come to thoughts that make us feel good. And if we can't come to thoughts that make us feel good, then at least we've got to drop the thoughts that are keeping us stuck. Um, <laughs> it sounds a little bit confusing, but that's, that's the basis of life. That's the basis of creation. You know, we are creating in every moment. And every moment that you're feeling in the better end of the emotional scale, then celebrate that. The more you can celebrate and feel good about where you are, the more of where you are you're going to get. So even if it's only a small portion of your day that you're feeling happy, notice it and celebrate it. And when you're not feeling so happy, try to laugh at it or try to shift your thoughts away from that onto something else. You know, loving your dog or your cat or your grandchild or your, or your own child, whatever that may be, focusing somewhere different to the problem is going to change your energy on all subjects. So that's really what it's about. It's about finding a perspective that feels good in each moment, celebrating the times when we are where we want to be and letting go of the times when we're not. So... I hope that has added some clarity. Um, I had a lovely day yesterday, actually. It was a quiet day, but um, I read a book. 
which totally opened my mind. It was a, a novel, but it gave me a lot to think about. And it was another one of Jane Roberts' books. It was The Oversoul Seven. And I'm now on to the second one in that series and loving them. But, you know, do whatever you can to shift your mind away from what is unless what is is really the way you want it. Look for the good in everything. If you can't see the good, know that underneath it all there is a gift and you can accept the gift now and not open it. If that's, you know, if, if that gift, that thing that's sitting in front of you feels scary, then leave it to a time when it's less scary to examine it. Don't examine it until you can see it from the creator's perspective. If you can examine it when you're in alignment, then you'll see it completely differently. You'll see it how it was meant to be. And you might start to examine that from being in alignment and it might throw you out of alignment and then it's time to put it aside again. Come back to it when you're feeling ready to examine it further or not at all. So have a lovely day. I'm going to share a meditation, a morning meditation, an Abraham meditation underneath this clip. I found it um, this morning actually and it's been, it was wonderful and it, it kind of covered all the things that we've been talking about and making those intentions first thing of a morning is very important because it sets your vibration for the day. So have a lovely day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.